Hello and welcome to Crusader Kings 2. Last time we took over Barcelona, which is here-ish, and we gave it to our amazing siege leader son. This time we're fabricating claims on a few things, we're going to probably go press, do a few more wars, and work out whether we can attack Italy. Ooh, so let's begin. We need to see who... What are you doing? Okay. Kingdom of Italy is still an option. We've got some weak claims to press. We could embargo, but that doesn't get us too much against Italy. We can claim Verona, but we need to get have land that she could be landed with. Uh, who is she married to? Husband? Here. I wonder if we gave him land, whether we could get her stuff. Like whether when her claim was pressed. I suppose that when she died it would then all go to that one here. And he would have all the land. That makes sense to me. I think. Okay. I like that. So we need to give him land. What land do we have to give away? Let's see what land's ours. But this land here. He can have that. So, we want the weak claim on Verona. Where is it? There it is. So, we want her husband to have this land down here. Messina. You can have all that. He likes us a lot. We can now go and press his wife's claim if we want to. And it'll stay within our kit. It won't necessarily come part of our kingdom straight away. But if we kill her, it would then go. It would go to her son. And if we k need to make sure to kill her husband first, and then her, and it would all be fine. So we're going to move over to make to Merguel. Oh, there's a new house in Amalfian politics because that was created just at the end of last episode. The uh, Republic of Amalfi. So he has a few uh, new doges around, all with some good stats. So we'll get a good person coming out of there soon. Probably going to be a chancellor or something. Yeah, see, we've got some good uh, stats from people. Just checking all of this to see whether there's somebody fantastic who should have stuff and doesn't. Uh, we could give it to our new Duke of Barcelona, our son. Marshal title, and he'd be just worse. But I'm not going to do that because it would also really annoy our another one of our dukes. Which, we really just want them to like us. How many men does Italy have out of curiosity? 12,000. So, it's going to be a bit closer than previous ones. Let's see, does he have any allies? He has no allies that he can call in. So, We've raised army levies. Oh, we have 3,000 of our vassals. That's fine. We shouldn't have any raised army levies now. We can build a few new retinues over here. Where are they? I'm just going to run them over to this army. Might wait for that till I declare war. Just so that that army will kind of refresh a little bit. Oh, let the retinues inside the army. Get a bit stronger. Is that saying we should have 26,000 people in that army? Is that, am I reading that right? I think I'm reading that correctly. And if I am, that's quite a few more than I think we should have. I'm going to let this sit and see how big the army gets. Because if we get 27 from just sitting, then... 27 is quite good to get. Uh, we should probably... Well, we can't plot against anyone. Oh, okay. Let's go on a pilgrimage. Gives us something to do. Uh, let's go to a holy site in the west. The tomb of St. James in Santiago, Santiago. So, a short trip. My things are packed, everything is in order, I am ready to walk the way of St. James. My journey begins. 
my air is my regen, which is good. Should be no funny business. Travelling down a long and lonesome road, you come up again come up upon a man lying in a ditch. He seems to have been robbed and beaten up quite badly. I can bind up his wounds and help him to the inn and pay for his recovery, which is gonna be kind, which is two diplomacy, minus two intrigue and some bonuses. That seems like something I would quite like. Or are we leave him he's probably dead in. We're gonna gain kind. So our our intrigue went down, but it was pretty low to start with. But we got more diplomacy, so people will like us more. Santiago, you have finally arrived in Santiago, the oldest major pilgrimage site in the west. It is an inland town close to the Atlantic Ocean, with origins going back to at least the Roman Empire. The fabled Way of St. James is a long road to travel, and you pass through many towns and villages on your way here. The legend holds that as St. James' remains were brought here by ship from Jerusalem, they were lost at sea during a storm. But soon after, they were miraculously was assured covered in scallops. Because of this, scallop shelves have become a popular souvenir among pilgrims. Your mind dwells on the legends of this holy place as you make your way through the crowds towards the centre of town. I must remember to bring a seashell home with me. Okay. The stories of other pilgrims all spoke of how impressive this place is. Now you can see it with your own eyes. You can only join in their praise. You're glad you came here to one of Christianity's holiest places. So I guess party. Just waiting for this army here still to get up a little bit. Oh, and that's my pilgrimage over. Great experience, more party, and the pilgrimage trait, which is a bonus with all same faith by five. So we've got quite a high opinion of from everybody, which is quite good. So let's see who the people who don't like us, what he wants. He wants County of Lamar. She's severely out of luck. She just doesn't like me for some reason. It's only 62. It's 62 positive, still not bad. I might give this guy an honorary title. We'll give him Cupbearer. And we'll send him a gift. So we should have a few more. Yeah, we have about 8,000 in uh, army levies that we can get. That's 75 a month. That's going to take an awfully long time to reinforce. I don't think it's going to 27. I think if I detach retinues, that not split off retinues, and we're just gonna get the rest stick down to here. We're gonna let this move on, and then we can see. Yeah, right. Yeah, that those aren't reinforcement. Only the retinues are reinforcing. Oh, uh, who are you? Why do you think you should be the king of? Duchy of Auvergne. He quite likes me, actually. He's ambitious, that's why he wants to be that. We want to get rid of that trait, but I don't remember how to do that. Or whether there even is a way to do that. Unless they're in a faction. I think you can possibly get them in a faction. Rest Invasion. Opinion of King Rain. We could almost get the Pope to... Uh, let us invade. Maybe we should do that for somewhere else. Can we do an invasion of Germany? No. We need fewer realm titles. So I think Italy might be the only place we could do it. Hmm. So the Pope's opinion of this guy. What is the Pope's opinion of this one? Probably not as high. We kill the king of Italy. No. Okay, we're just going to have to declare war. Declare war for Verona. Right. We want to raise all of our troops. And then work out where they should go. So. We're going to take all of those troops. We're going to beat up that army there. Just as a start. We still have the good leaders in that one. Yep. Um, we're going to raise a few boats here, I think. Oh, wait. No, those are our boats. We don't want to raise those. We want to raise the boats of Amalfi. Good. So we'll send them there. We'll send the troops there. We will 
raise his boats, and if he has enough, he does, we can park the army, we'll take it over there to pick them up. Right, and we're going to kind of meet here-ish and then walk away over to Verona. Although we could just take the boat, I can take some of the boats to Verona, which might be fine. Okay, do you have boats here? Yep, we're going to attach you to the boat instead. So, boat, go over here, and we'll let it run. Uh, my cousin has come of age. He is yet another uh, elusive shadow. Quite worrying how many people in my dynasty are elusive shadows. Uh, didn't mean to click that. I meant to click rank. Uh, you can marry this random baron. I'll be fine. Okay, so. Merge the units. Attach the boat. You can go over there. Wait for this 46 to go over there. Where's the unit attached to the boat? Get all the boats we have and get them all going here. Okay. Now that we killed that small army, we're going to move this group over here. Merge, and we're going to send the army off into there. 12,000 plus, 15,000, 16,000, 17,000 troops. It's not bad. Who's in the war? It's just him, like we thought it would be. We're going to put the Aquitaine fleet in here before we disband them, so that we still have all the boats ready if we need them for, I don't know, some escape from here, possibly. Oh, he sent all 9,000 troops of his to Corsica. Well, we don't really care, because we're just going to go siege the war goal. Uh, but we're going to siege his capital first, in the hope that we get a few members of his... Uh, a few members of his family, that's what I was looking for. We got a new person who's apparently really good at fighting, this guy. Um, don't know why we got a pop-up about him, he's not very impressive. I guess it's randomised stats, but still... He's really not impressive at all. My nephew asked for a thief of his own to govern. Govern? Uh, yeah, sure, he can have a thief of his own soon. We'll think about it. Uh, is there any land we can give him right now? We don't want to give him Cap... We could just give him Capio. And have no land for ourselves. So, I, I kind of like that, actually. We're going to... Grant him the landed title of Capua. Ooh, okay. And we're going to grant him the landed title of Neapoli. And then we're going to grant him the Duchy of Cap. So that will come back to us when he becomes uh, our lead. He becomes leader of the place. So I can get some new opinion of people. Because he lost all of his educating things, because he's a new person. We're gonna give it to the per hmm. We're gonna give it to the Italian who likes us the least, I should say. Uh doesn't like us, doesn't like us, doesn't like us not Italian. Do all Italians like us the most they can? No. There you go. You can raise them. Might just give it to the highest ranked person this time. Uh we're actually gonna give it to him. Fine. It to him. Her to him. That'll be fine. We lost our marshal, but that's fine. Wait, why did we lo lose him as an option for a marshal? He's our duke. But, well, whatever. I don't care. It's not that big a difference. Uh, he's gone down quite a lot, so we can give him our uh, stewardship position. We can go collect taxes in our only province. And spymaster. Cousin wants to be spy master. Okay, he can go study technology in Byzantine land. We got quite a good council now. Was better at one point, but I can live with that. Cool. There's an um, there's an adventurer looking to gather some men for attack of all, on our territory. So I could try and assassinate him. So, but it tells us when he's going to attack. So 
I'm gonna try assassinating him, and then if that doesn't work, then I'm just gonna attack him later. Anyone wanna join? You wanna join? If I send you a small gift. There you go. Uh, if it gets to the like the day before the attack, I'm just gonna send assassin after assassin after him until he dies. Because adventurers have a lot of event spawn troops, and it's very difficult to beat them. And it's much easier just for it to not be a problem. Right, so we got maybe over 100% plot power. Yeah, that should fire in two years, that's fine. So we're going to go around like this. Hopefully we'll catch his army. If we don't, it's fine. But we caught some of them. And now we're going to Pravia. We have a siege leader, if I remember right on our army. Yep, siege leader. So we are just going to destroy this siege. We're just going to assault straight down and take it. We're going to adopt our marshal's idea for a more and military technology spread. Have we got any prisoners? Nope. Assault this place. Also assaulting gets our army down to a point where it's not taking uh, it's not taking attrition from being too large, which is good, because that's uh, very annoying. Now we've taken his capital, did we get any prisoners from that? Nope. Oh well. I, I can live with that. I'm going to go to Verona, I'm going to capture it a bit slower. It's got 18,000 troops, but it should be a lot of war score for us. And all the capital war score was a lot compared to Corsica, which is barely worth taking for him, really. And we have some much better military leaders than him, so I think he could have really, really good ones, but I'm fine with the risk. If worst comes to the worst, we'll hire some mercenaries and uh, then go beat up on them. Looks like we're getting some bad air events happening here. Right, so now he's kind of stuck on Corsica. He has to get all of his boats back together and uh, get find his way off Corsica. Uh, Augusta, that is fine. That's our granddaughter. Right. Kind of worried about all the troops he has, actually. I might hire some mercenaries. But we have an organizer, so we... I, I need to remember that. So we always have the option of running away to uh, our capital with our organizer and then hiring mercenaries on them. In fact, if we finish the siege quickly, we might be able to just run straight over there and get those troops. Or is he ferrying? Yeah, he's going to ferry them over quicker than we can get over there. But if we get all of this land, we'll get a ticking war score, so... It doesn't really matter if he sieges our land, because the ticking war score will be larger than the war score he'll get for sieging. Right. Where is he going? He's going to Pavia. So, so he's gone back to his capital. If we can get... The, where are the river crossings? Right, there's province. Between Montferrat, Lombardia, Crimea, Parma, and... Oh, there's a river crossing with everywhere. That is a pain to get at. It's probably a very good capital position, actually. Hmm... We might try and just run in and get that 4,000 stack. I think we're going to go do, do that. Oh, perfect. We'll fight. Where's Cremona's rivers? Between Mantua. Damn it. He's not got any rivers. So 12,000 men. They're all going to Brescia. Okay. We're going to retreat a bit, I think. Yeah. I'd like to fight, but I'm not 100% sure we'd win. Where are we with this? Let's see if he backs away. We'll get here first, and there's a river crossing between here and Brescia. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fight. We have We need to get better leaders on, so. Organizer's fine, I think. Let's go for a brilliant strategy. Oh, he's craven. Oh, that's not good. Brave. So, got that craven guy. 
He's fine. We want an actual trait. Unyielding. That's a good trait. We'll use that. He's also Craven, though. Ah, dear. Heavy li infantry leader could be good. We've got a lot of heavy infantry. Flat terrain isn't great because we're not flat terrain. I think we're going to take the heavy infantry leader. It's fine. We don't have many mounted troops. We have no mounted troops, so that's fine. We'll fight. This should be a very close fight. We the he is losing a lot more men than I am. But it's still a, he had more to start with. So we're gonna let it go slowly. See what happens. So this flank is losing a lot of men, but so is he. He has lost 500 men in his middle flank. He's retreating. We have won this by so much. Yeah, please come join in the fight. Yeah. He has lost this battle a lot. And we captured someone. 97%. Was that one of his family? Oh no, 75% war score from that battle. Right. So, he's now going to Padua, we're going to go follow him, and we're going to win this war. By pair all of his troops. We got there first, so we got the uh, better ground. All of his troops pretty much are dead, we're going to enforce demands. So, we gave her Verona. Now, if I've worked this out right, her heir is this guy whose father is our vassal. So we want to kill the father after we kill the adventurer. So that's good. We also severely weakened Italy, which is perfect. Two people eloped, got married without anyone's consent except their own, and it falls to me as their liege to either accept the marriage or do something. Uh, we're going to order them sieged, and then we're going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.